So this big tech censorship case hits the Supreme Court. This is a monumental case. This is a big deal. Many people aren't talking about this, and I'll be getting into that in a second. But this was all sparked and started by Laura Loomer. And if you're not very sure who she is, she is pretty much the most banned woman in the United States. After around 2018, she got banned from Uber, Lyft, Chase Bank, all of these different places. And single-handedly was one of the most banned people out there, if not the most banned. I'm pretty sure she actually is the most banned person on or not really on the internet anymore considerably. And the U.S. Supreme Court is considering whether or not to hear a case brought by her and Freedom Watch against Google, Apple, Facebook, and Twitter, alleging that the masters of the universe have been discriminating on the basis of viewpoint and coordinating with each other in an anti-competitive manner. So this is all about the idea that they don't want conservatives to speak on their platforms or anybody that holds conservative views. Everything that they do is all aimed at trying to keep our voices from being heard, from denying a platform from people like you or me. And because she has been banned like crazy in so many places, that is obviously making her the best candidate for somebody to go in with a case like this. She's proof of all of these types of censorship. So Loomer also ran for Florida's 21st congressional district last year and was the only major candidate in the country who was denied access to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and PayPal while also running for office. So really insane when you think about that, because Twitter always told us, well, you are, if, as long as you're a person that is in government or like any person that or is running for office or anything like that, then you should have a platform regardless of what it is. Basically, we might ban a political pundit, but we won't ban somebody that is actually in Congress or running for Congress or something like that. But they've done that. They've denied her the ability to actually have a platform at all to run on. And nobody, or very few people, mind you, in the conservative landscape, the, the GOP members, very few of them, actually were really willing to come out in her defense and say she deserved to be on Twitter and advocated for her in any way possible. So the case dates back to 2018 when Laura, uh, when Laura Loomer and Clayman sued Google, Facebook, Twitter, and Apple over allegations that the platforms violated the First Amendment, the Sherman Antitrust Act, and the District of Columbia Human Rights Act. The thing is, is that this is all great. This 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 case is important. It's a it's a landscape for really what we're dealing with in the United States right now as conservatives. The problem is we can't trust the Supreme Court. That that's my only concern when it comes down to this is that the Supreme Court has not ruled in our favor when it came down to the election results and it surely has not ruled in our favor as far as big tech is concerned more recently. But now more than ever they seem to be throwing out cases and more cases over and over again. And many conservatives that are not talking about this case are running around really kind of ignoring that it even exists. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Ben Shapiro, Daily, pretty much everybody at the Daily Wire. All of the major kind of elite conservative speakers are not mentioning anything about this case or any other case for that matter. The people that are championing talking about free speech and being on free speech platforms oftentimes ignore those platforms, by the way. Very rarely do they decide to actually come over to Parler, to Gap, to these other sites. But when they do, they, they want this welcoming party, this big hoorah, you finally made it kind of thing. But most of them are just ignoring all of these other free speech platforms. And then when you have big cases like this, regardless of what the outcome is, none of them want to talk about it. So that's why I'm talking about it. Because I care about free speech enough and I'm not a part of the conservative elite that's concerned about trying to keep their videos and everything else on YouTube, but concerned about speaking the truth and letting people know what's actually going on out there when there are important cases that need to be discussed. So we'll see where this case goes. Um, it's obviously in the Supreme Court's hands, so it's entirely up to them. And it, that's what the issue is that we're dealing with here. The Supreme Court is not really on our side, even if there kind of is a conservative majority. The problem is that they, they don't even really want to vote on many of these cases, which is kind of a sad time right now, especially when we're dealing with big tech censorship, which is just getting worse and worse by the day. So we'll see where this goes. I'll keep you updated on that and we'll have to see what happens. 
You just watched a clip from the William Hall Show. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.